Hello and welcome to another flight school video. Most of the pilots complain about engineering and how hard it is to get the grade 5 maths and engineers, so today we're going to talk about a grade 3 engineer grade mark 2 and test it against the Medusa. You can find the ships built in the description, so let's begin. There's a slight problem which is the power distributor, which causes the ship to spike during long attack runs. This can be fixed by either double syncing when first heatsink reaches its half charge or switching the charge enhanced to weapon focus effect for distro. But it will come at a cost, you won't have that much capacity in the engines and systems, thus you won't be able to boost so much and have to keep an eye on system cap to make sure it's not out of power when you try to launch a heatsink. Being a grade 3 ship, it lacks the optimum maneuverability but is still decent enough when the extra mass from life support, sensors and fuel tank is removed, so you can do a decent job for attack runs. Laser is also another concern as I chose this one to be gimbaled. You can of course go with the fixed one, but this will make things a little bit more difficult as you will constantly have to aim the laser manually. Being a grade 3 engineered one, it can only fire up to 4.75 km which limits the distance to melt down the shields. Still, it's not the end of the world. Armor is a lightweight heavy duty deep plated, as we want to achieve the minimum mass and maximum speed and maneuverability we can squeeze out of this ship. We will get the extra integrity points we need out of the size 5 hull reinforcements here. And as you can see, the ship performed as expected, taking some damage here and there due to the spiking, but still, it's acceptable considering the fact that the ship is grade 3 engineered and still miles away from its maximum performance. And that's that. As you can see, when you follow the basic steps, you can even face a Medusa and emerge victorious in a grade 3 ship. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you out on the fronts.